There's a famous story about the first screening of The Wild Bunch at a, uh, a press junket where some critics uh, were appalled. And at a press conference following the film, they, they, they shouted catcalls at Sam Peckinpah. Uh, they, you know, uh, they thought he was the devil incarnate for making this movie. Uh, now you look at the film, and not only doesn't it seem jarring the way it did when it was new, but you, you appreciate that the film has a great warmth and a great sense of camaraderie and almost a, a, a wistfulness for the end of a way of life, an end of the Wild West, sort of, w w which it's marking. And a lot of violence, yes. The violence is a big part of the movie, but it's not what the movie's about. I don't think Sam Peckinpah was out to glorify violence, not in the slightest. I think he was trying to say, look, violence is real. Violence is not neat. It's not tidy. Uh, when someone gets shot, it hurts. When someone, someone gets shot repeatedly, it really hurts. And blood spurts. This is, this is what it's like. Now, he didn't show it realistically either. He had a, a, a stylistic approach to it. But nevertheless, he was, he was showing the audience something they hadn't really seen before. When you watch The Wild Bunch today, it's hard to believe how revolutionary it was considered at the, the, the end of the 60s, early 70s, when it came along. But it was one of many films of that time that really mirrored a revolution in movie making.